What's going on guys, Static Leo here and I am back with another video. So guess what just came in? Our IHC 4.6 drop for our 2021 F-150. Yes sir. This thing is going lower today. I've been wanting to go lower on this thing for the longest and I haven't looked into it, you know, haven't messed with it today. Finally, we're gonna be doing a 4.7 drop, 4.6 plus a little shackle in the back. We're also gonna be getting our brand new needle tires all around. Big shout out to my boys over at IHC Suspension. Today we're gonna get this kit installed. Let you guys know everything you need to know if you're interested on lowering your F-150 or any other truck. We're gonna do a full review on their kit. We're also gonna do a ride quality review. All types of reviews today. Y'all stay tuned. Right now we're gonna head to my boy Roman. He's gonna get it installed, get that C-notch on there so we can go lower and then get them new needles on there wrapped around the weld. This thing's gonna look a lot different by the end of today. So y'all stay tuned, subscribe if you're new. Let's get it. We just pulled up right here with my boy Roman. Got the kit inside. We're now we're gonna put the truck in. They can start working on it. And here we have the needle tires. You guys seen them on the last video. We got the Needle 555 G2, 295, 40, 20. So this is a perfect tire to go with with this drop. And man, these are gonna look a lot better than these. I put these on temporary because my back tires were already bald. So now we're gonna put the real ones on. And here we have the three piece. You guys can see I already took the tape off so it looks a lot better. Next step is to get it hooked on. It makes a big difference. All the little details you guys know, I always tell y'all, little details go a long way. We're gonna get this thing right. Man, I think I wanna get some new tips. Those are kind of like yellowish already. Probably get something more high quality, more premium. Cause those are just the regular ones. They're nothing crazy, but they do get yellow quick. Right here we got everything that comes in the kit. Upper control arms, lowers, got some instructions. In case you guys don't know how to install it, I can tell you to follow. Sent you the kit where you're gonna have adjustment on the rear shock. So basically, if you go any lower, you can drop it. If you go any higher, you can pick it up. That's what this is for. So this is gonna go on the rear end. It goes bolted in, and that's for the adjustments on the shock. Estos van a ir aquí. So this will go like this. Uh -huh on this okay. and that's where we'll get the adjustment on the shocks to go higher or lower obviously on yours you want to go low so we're not going to need these yeah. we're actually going to be going a five seven right yeah we're going to do a five seven i talked to them this morning and they said that they should have no problem basically getting it to a five inch if we do have any camber issues or anything like that they're going to send out the upper arms that have adjustments on it and then over here we have the flip kit the u-bolt drop shocks pretty much everything that's needed to get this truck down low it should ride pretty clean because it has it has the adjustments yeah. on there so it so should pretty, have a real nice ride pretty badass kit so big shout out to ihc we're Let's get this installed today see how the truck rides how it looks and then we got the, the new needle tires on it too so we'll probably get as much as we can you know installing it and everything so that way they have some good coverage on it so it should look pretty dope roman's gonna get down roman and the boys Yo, you're la oficina. Nah. Roma va a estar en el aire. Nah, hell no. Nah. I told him that I was gonna try to help him out as much as we can so yeah. we'll get it done we'll get it done. Right now we got all the control arms assembled with the ball joints. We're getting ready to pull the Coyote in, get it all taken apart, get the new needles mounted, get the new kit in. We're gonna be doing the 4.6 kit plus a shackle in the back and the strut that it already has, which was a drop strut. That's all we did. That's why I did a 3.5 on it because that's all there was at the time when I bought the truck. Now we got the IHC one, so we're gonna be able to go a lot lower, including the C-notch. This is the last time y'all see it like this with the setup. Last look.
Yeah. Took a little tasso. Nah, this bitch, I just bought this whole this bitch is bad. Yeah. It's like a thousand bucks, but it makes the job a lot easier. Better than having them flying around on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> With the right tools, those are ways. Easy in? Easy out. Ahí vamos a ponemos los rings para levantarlo. Now we're greasing up everything final. Ya quedó que todo. We just finished designing the Cenage for my boy uh, Leo. Basically what we started doing is we had to open up a little bit and then the inner parts we had to close them off a little bit. It's a Ford, it's a 2021 at that, so it's not a common thing, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a weld on notch, it does have our logo on it. My boy Leo said, yeah, go ahead, put the logo on it. Leo stay representing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, yeah, showing some love, so shout out to Leo. So we're gonna get that cut out real quick, weld it together and then slap it on the truck. That thing looks nasty. I like how flat they look. Like, the tires are flat. Looks clean. What we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I got bored of seeing it with that setup already, so we need a, a refresh, you know. But damn, with the needles, bro. Can't wait to see the back. Can't wait to see it all done. Mm -hmm. Go look at it. Don't do this. Bring it to the setup. Yeah. Back up. Yeah. Woo. Ah. <laughs> Down the. Let's put a fucking metal right here. <laughs> Whenever we get these trucks, we gotta bring them to Roman so he can get them right because these things come off. I need the back a little lower than that, Roman. A little lower? Like, yeah, like. That little squat, you know? That half inch squat. I'm gonna go get some shackles right now to try it out. We're gonna put it like that with the tires. Si no te gusta, pues metemos los shackles. All right, so we took a little break earlier, went to lunch, had to go take care of some other things, but the boys are finishing up the Coyote already. They already got that underbed cut up, welded in there. Right now they're just putting on the shocks and the shackles and the wheels should be going back on. Check it out. Coyote got cut up. We got my boy the setup. 
right there. She got the underbed notch. Once we do the other wheels and go lower, we are gonna have to get a step notch and cut up the bed inside, but we're gonna be getting it redone with aluminum, just like factory look. And then we're gonna be respraying it all blue again. Right now we're getting the shock relocators installed. Oh boy, Eddie getting down. Laka? Isn't that the first time you have a camera with you laying down? Yeah, no shit. No shit. <laughs> hey, I follow my OnlyFans. <laughs> Check it out real quick. My guy's got the shot relocator mounted. Got that puesto aquí, aquí. And then he still has a good amount of travel and he, they can still bring it lower right here. So we got the new flip kit in. Shout out to Mondo. Eddie, and then in Chica to travels. So, <laughs> nah, but the good thing about the IAC kit though, right here, look, check it out. This right here allows you to go up, down, however you want to adjust it. So, if you ever want to upgrade your shocks too to like some Vikings or QA1s or anything like that, this is a good option for you because if the shock is shorter, you just pick it up. If it's longer, you just drop it back down. Flip kit fixed the pinion angle, and then of course, we made our custom made C notch to fit this for. So, it's a perfect fit, welded all the way around. Other than that, man, it looks pretty dope. Oh, and then we did shackles in the back, huh? a one inch drop in the Rear to get it lower so right now it's sitting at a five seven yeah let's put the tires on see how it looks it should look pretty dope we've been here till midnight like one o'clock in the morning sierra remember the sierra yeah i gotta get the highway <laughs> Nah, it looks good. Remember when you get lined, it's gonna go up in the front. Ooh, more inches in the back. Pues ahí se le puede bajar otra vez, pero la drive se va a pegar. ¿Cuánto lift tiene los otros lift? Eight inch lift. So that's the first thing I'm gonna be doing tomorrow morning, aligning it. And uh, we're gonna see how it looks with the back. Right now it looks killer though. I would like some more low in the back, but right now the drive shaft's hitting, so we can't do too much right now. We gotta get a custom drive shaft made. Uh, we're definitely slamming this thing. But tomorrow I'm gonna bring it by with my boy Roman. I'm gonna bring him the wheel with the lift. He's gonna measure and see what axles we need to get. He was telling me that we can probably get away with the leaf springs. We could just cut the diff. It has a lot of space. We could probably get away, right? Maybe. With, with cutting the diff? Oh yeah. But what we're gonna see tomorrow. Yeah, What's we'll up? That way we can put those wheels on soon. Let's drop it a little bit, like an inch or two, with the new drive shaft. Yeah. Yeah. So as it is right there, the drive shaft is like yeah. from hitting. So new drive shaft, fuck it. Yeah, new drive shaft. New drive shaft and go lower. Yeah. Definitely, I like the yeah. front. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely perfect. recommend the front to get a line first. Ya que le miremos así y que quede malón, they will match the back to the front. Right there, we can still go another inch, like no problems at all. Yeah. But the drive shaft. The tire set it off as well. Looks good. Little neato tires and a drop kit. And look at the difference. Those little parts make a big difference. Thought I was gonna go photo bomb the, the video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I go. Big shout out to my boy Roman, to the guys. Always getting down. Hey, but for real though, shout out to IHC for taking care of this. Yeah, video. big shout out to IHC. Finally got the peyote slam. Then I come out sick once we put the wheels. Yeah, con Kingly. This is just for Avanda si troca, so you guys can come check it out at Avanda's. I'm going to be driving it out there. And I'm going to be towing the back one. SS, I'm going to oh, tow yeah. that one. Taking those two and my brothers, we don't want to take too much trucks because then it's a big headache. Man, you should have seen me at shootout. I had like 10 trucks. I didn't know what to do when it was time to leave. <laughs> tow, tow trucks, trailers, tow trucks, homeboys, yeah. everybody driving them.
guys, I quedó la coyote with the new drop. That's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow we're gonna go align it, get it washed up, and we're gonna go do some rollers for you guys. We're also gonna do a photo shoot for IHC. Send them some pics over. They can have us like on the catalog and stuff. They can add us on there. Add this badass truck. Alright guys, so we got the Coyote aligned. We still got a little bit of camber, so we do need to get the other control arms, the ones that extend out a little bit more. But we already spoke to IEC, they're gonna send them to us. And hopefully we can get that camber straight up all the way. Not that bad, it was meant to be a 4.6. That's why we have camber, because we went lower. So if you get this drop kit and you just do the 4.6, you're not gonna have a problem. But you know me, I always wanna go low and low and low and low. <laughs> we gotta get a new custom drive shaft, that way we can lower the rear. The rear's not gonna stay like that, it is a little bit too high. So the rear's gonna go down another inch. We're gonna put the lip on there real soon, because Roman was telling me that we might get away with just cutting the div. We might not need no three link for now. That way we can put the wheels on there already. And we can go lower, get a custom drive shaft. So that's what's gonna be up next on this truck we're gonna enjoy it like this for a little bit hopefully the arms come in pretty quick so we can get that fixed up and i'll give you guys an update like always i'm really happy with the way it looks even like this it does look a lot better especially with the needles that's the reason why i hadn't got them tires yet i just wanted to slam it just do everything at once that way it can look crazy y'all stay tuned because soon we're gonna have that lip on there it's gonna be lower in the rear and this is gonna look 10 times better so this truck's only gonna keep getting better and better every little upgrade that we do to it makes a big difference sure to keep up with the coyote progress every time you guys see it at the show it's only gonna look better and better coyote build is coming along sick get a little walk around the front end looks so mean with the light that's probably like my favorite part right up there yeah it looks slam Right now I'm gonna take you on a little test drive on the slammed Coyote F-150 with my boy Vital. I feel like we're on the floor with this truck. Hey, right? It feels low? Yeah. You know? Shit. You can literally like see any pothole now. Yeah, I can see yeah, everything. Pothole, right? you'll see it. Oh! Nah, it rides real good. I'm actually very impressed with the quality of this drop kit. Like, yeah. how do you feel it? It feels like stock. It feels like stock. It feels stock. It feels like we're not even slammed right now. Yeah. And it's okay, we went lower than. Yeah, I think it rides better expected. than when it was before. Yeah, it definitely didn't ride that good. But I mean, all I had was a front strut. Of course, that's gonna interfere with the suspension. You know, when you do a, a drop strut and you leave everything else stock, of course. But now we're good. We have lower control arms, uppers, drop struts. Now we're riding now. Yeah. Feels well, really that's good. Good. Like we're yeah, it feels we are, good. But Technically, we are from the suspension because they but changed stock everything. Feels way different than drop. Yeah. It's hard to have like a drop truck that feels right smooth. This one right smooth. We just gotta know. Well, I already know where all the bumps are at because you know out here in Houston they got speed bumps in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, so my frame does have like three inches of clearing. I gotta take all the smooth roads because it'll hit. I don't want to see what that feels like because I'm already used to it. I remember back in the day with the OG man, I used to hit my frame nasty but i already have that experience so i already know how to drive super low trucks so i'll be good you gotta go straight in and then turn because if not it'll hit you know the party bus, party bus. where are we going oh shit. no capo <laughs> no capo no, fake, uh, <laughs> nah ahorita we came to pick up some beer but nah, look at them headlights bro <laughs> man my stomach was hurting bad like i ate breakfast this morning and after that it was bad but it went away already i ate like five tons hey it worked damn i love this thing right here documenting our life banda citrocas two weeks may 28 2022 right down here. 
That logo. What you gonna get? Chips. Chips. I'm gonna go to the beer cave. Beer cave. Ice cold. It is 38 degrees in here. You ready, Vital? Yeah. 38 degrees. Woo! Super <laughs> tava. Bro, it's fucking cold. I need this AC in my truck. Look at that. It's fucking hot in Houston. But yeah, this is, this is what we're looking for right here. We found the product. Tienen chingos, lo bueno. Lo bueno que no se acaban. We got some Scarface right here. Nah, I'm just playing. Shout out to my boy Scarface. Best micheladas in Houston. You already know. That's right. What toy do you want? What toy do you like? I'll buy it for you. Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> like a play at home in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Goods acquired. Be redoing these seats for sure. I'm gonna do something a little different, switch it up a little bit. And I need to clean this thing. I'm very sushi. 6,500 miles on the clock. The pens. The puras burnouts. Yeah, oh my boy Robles, you know. What you think? What you think? What you think? What you think? There's a little sneak peek for the next vlog. Ira, it's a sneak peek for the next vlog. Este vlog ya se va a acabar. Esta madre, pónganse en verga. SS clone is back. Ya saben los haters qué significa esto. Yeah. Significa que van a mamar varios a la verga. Que se pongan en la lista negra. Oh, enseñar el, el la otra parte que tenemos ahí adentro. Oh, les vamos a enseñar un caracol de, de babas que tenemos acá. <laughs> babas que me lo pongo aquí y agarramos 17 libras. Mira. <laughs> <laughs> No más para que se metan. Para ir a, ju para ir a jugar al traque con ustedes. Yo también quiero ir. Agárrense porque vamos a ir por todos ustedes. La perra tachada, no está muerta. La tenemos amarrada con el solazo. <laughs> My boy Ruben with the tacos. So I'm over there thinking that I'm clowning and then Ruben pulls up okay. with his turbos. <laughs> nah, rato que we'll get there al rato. Yeah, you get there. Yes, sir. Right, right. Bad guys, I'm gonna end the video there. Big shout out to IHC for the new drop kit. It rides amazing. We're still gonna be tweaking the drop a little bit. We gotta fix that camber and then we're gonna go one inch lower on the back. I'll stay tuned for the next vlog. If you guys want an IHC drop, I'm gonna leave all the links below their Instagram, their website. You guys can hit them up on there. I recommend them 100%. And you guys are gonna love the way these kits ride. Head on over there. If you're thinking about dropping your truck, if you don't know where to start, go to IHC, go to their website, and you're gonna find everything that you need there. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh,